Hey, welcome back to my kitchen. I have some awesome meals for you guys today that revolve around potatoes, which is personally probably my second favorite food in the world. Tomatoes are my first, potatoes are my second. I don't know why I'm like this. I love potatoes. And every single time I post a potato recipe video or a rice recipe video, I get a lot of comments about how, that's so many carbs, oh my God, that's so many carbs. If you're not a carb lover like me, then don't click on a video that's all about potatoes. But if you're here for potato love, give this video a huge thumbs up and let's get started. Okay, I have everything ready to go for these two meals. First thing is I have a um, baking di a baking sheet with aluminum foil, preferred method for me for potatoes with a little bit of avocado spray. You do it any way that you prefer. I also have my Dutch oven and a um, skillet, but I'm going to bake or set my oven to bake at 425. We'll start with that. But this is what I'm gonna use. I'm using kind of like the same ingredients you'll see here in a second, so I'm getting everything ready because I am making a soup, but I'm also making like a sheet pan meal. It's gonna be so good. Main ingredients in the first meal, onion, potatoes, and these beans. I have never seen this before at Target and I like had to try it. I was making a hummus today anyways and I was like, okay, you sold me. Uh, so I grabbed that and then I also am using some tahini but you don't have to use this if you want to make like a less calorie hummus you can just use mustard instead but I want like a thicker fatty hummus today so we're using that I also thought I had jalapenos on hand I don't have them so we're gonna take them out of this recipe originally I was gonna do onion with jalapeno in my hummus but I don't have that and that's okay so I need to scrub my potatoes and get them chopped into wedges wedge potatoes sounds so incredibly good right now if you have potatoes made ahead and you just put them in your air fryer this meal will be so much quicker than baking it in the oven but that's the method I'm using today first things first we got to scrub our potatoes and this potato scrubber is from the Dollar Tree one of you all told me to grab one from there I grabbed one last December, best purchase of my life. Sometimes the Dollar Tree just has things that blow my mind. Let me know down below what's your favorite and best finds from the Dollar Tree because I do want to go there this weekend and just look around. I go about once a quarter, I would say, and just see what they have. Just see if they have anything that's just like sticking out to me that's like, hmm. My second favorite thing, I think, from the Dollar Tree is like the spatulas that I use for my baking, like the little mini ones. They're so good. And for $1.25, I feel like they just can't be beat. We're just gonna do salt and garlic to these. Keep them very simple. You could add anything else that you might like better. I want all the seasoning to be simple so all the flavor comes from the hummus. I feel like these potatoes also look very green and the camera, they're not. I think it's just the lighting. They're perfectly fine. Okay, I'm gonna pop them in my oven for about 35 minutes or until they're to my liking. And then I'll have the hummus ready when they get out. See you in a little bit, friends. Okay, recipe number two. Can you tell what it is? It's a dill pickle potato soup. I saw someone on Instagram make something similar to this and I was like, okay, I kind of want to try it. If you don't like pickles, leave all the dill stuff out and just use the cream of corn so it'll be more like a chowder, but I love pickles. Pickles are probably my third favorite food. <laughs> so we have to try this. Okay, I have about two pounds of red potatoes which I'm gonna wash really quickly. I'm gonna use half of this lemon also for the first recipe and for this one. So half a lemon just to kind of give it some nice citrus and it'll make it so much better when we add all the flavors. A can of cream sweet corn, which will make it nice and creamy. Half of the onion that we're gonna cook here in a second um, for the hummus, so you'll see that. Veggie broth, and you can use anything that you like. This one is high in salt, which I don't have to watch my salt intake, so I'm using this one. You can use anything else that you might like better, but this is what I have on hand, and I like it, so I'm using it. Some additional seasoning, seasoning in a pickle from Trader Joe's. If you don't have this, you can just add a little bit of garlic, and what else is in here? Onion, a little splash of vinegar maybe. I don't know, it's really good. You could just add regular dill too. And then I have two different kinds of pickles. I have the kosher dill, which I think are my favorite, but I really like all pickles. It doesn't really matter. Until I tried these, which are also kosher, but they're spicy. So if you don't like spicy, you could leave this out. I also want to add jalapenos to this meal, but I don't have any on hand. And I was just gonna use pickled jalapenos, not fresh. Uh, but here are the ingredients. Let's get started because we have to start with onion to cook that for the hummus as well. I have a feeling this is gonna be on repeat all winter long in my house because this 
Like my taste buds are dancing just thinking about it. Anytime I can knock out two recipes instead of one, sign me up. These both take very little time. You have to cut and chop a couple of ingredients, put them in a pot, put them on a sheet pan, make a quick hummus, and you have two delicious meals that you can meal prep ahead. I feel like soups and stews are so where it's at right now. You can even make this in the crock pot if you want to. And these red potatoes, I got them at Albertsons a couple weeks ago. They're perfection. I feel like everywhere where I live, different produce, like, I have to buy it at different stores because sometimes certain produce from certain stores is just really bad. And potatoes, especially red ones from Albertsons are always the best. And of course, the chef always has to test the pickles. These are so good. I know not everybody has Trader Joe's by them. So I know Famous Dave's also makes a spicy pickle. Trust me, I know where all the good pickles are. Um, I also <laughs> want to put chopped pickles on the top of this at the end, but I'll explain it to you. And I can't stress this enough. If you're not a pickle person, don't be uh, turned off by this. Just don't add the pickles and you'll have a nice like cream chowder, potato chowder, and it'll be so inexpensive. Both of these meals cost basically nothing. They're like less than $5 per meal. You can't beat it. And they're both really, really big to share with you and your family. Okay, my onions are looking good. I'm gonna stir them up real quick. They have a couple more minutes to go. They're not quite where I want them. Like I said, I added some veggie broth to those. And then I'm gonna take about half of those out once they're done cooking and put them in here to save for the hummus. Okay, these are looking good. Let's get half of these out and the rest will stay, and not even half, I would say like eh, a third. Hopefully all of this fits in my pot. I didn't think that through immediately. Hmm. Yeah, we'll be okay. Say I put in my potatoes and my pickles and now I'm putting in my broth. I'm estimating it'll be about four cups of broth if I can fit it, we'll see. Also doing the can of cream corn. I'm just gonna sprinkle in a little bit more of the powder. You'll see why in a second. Like, maybe like a teaspoon and a half. And then I filled this with water to kind of get the rest of the cream corn out. Okay, I cannot go any, <laughs> any fuller. So I won't put any of the pickle juice in right now. I will wait. And if I need to add some, I will. But I will, put some of this in my blender so it's nice and thick and then add it back to the pot. But right now we're just gonna bring this to a boil. If I have to, I'll take some of these potatoes out and then just use them for a different meal, but I should be okay. It's just a very full pot. Gonna add the remaining of my seasoning and we're just gonna let that cook. It already smells so good. Like I said, if you don't like pickles, just leave them out and then you'll have a nice uh, like corn chowder. Let's make some hummus. <laughs> My favorite portable blender, I talk about it all the time, it's currently sold out, but I always link it down below, so if you can snag one, do so. It's like Bluetooth or, or wireless, I should say, so you don't have to uh, plug it in. You can take it anywhere in your kitchen. We're gonna add that can of beans, drained but not rinsed. Add in our onion. This is just gonna give it a lot of flavor since we're basically just using the potatoes for a vehicle. Half of a lemon, which I just realized was in my fridge for my water. It's not very juicy. Go, come on. Okay, I'm gonna use another half because this one's way juicier and I want a lot of acid. Maybe I have something wrong with me. I love 
acidic foods, mustard, pickles, lemon. It brings out all the flavor. Pinch of salt. Pinch of garlic. I have so little garlic left. Didn't know I needed that when I went to the store. And then let's do like a heaping tablespoon-ish of tahini. Don't ever lick this spoon. Okay, maybe you like it. Every time I lick it, I think it's gonna taste like almond butter and then it's so dry in my mouth that it takes me like three days to recover. <laughs> We have hummus in like one minute. It's so much better than store-bought, but I do like store-bought too, but homemade is always the best. And I don't add any additional oil, as you can see. Okay, to the top, I'm gonna add some crushed, or I guess it's dried onion, and paprika, because it's just gonna look really pretty. This is where the jalapenos are gonna come in, because I just love spice, but I think this is, this is gonna be great for the potatoes. This is actually my lunch today. If you have a can of beans laying around, make this. If you have no tahini, go ahead and just substitute for mustard. It turns out so good. And it's like a little bit lower calorie. If you count calories or are on a weight loss journey, it's great. So you can try that. Okay, lunch is done. One of the two meals is ready. These potatoes are perfection. The soup is on like a low boil, so it doesn't boil over since I filled it so full. It'll be done soon. I don't know, maybe like 20 minutes. I'm so excited. These look so good. I have to let them cool down because they are wicked hot but how perfect do these potatoes look i will probably eat like half this hummus and these two potatoes and that'll be like a great lunch for me make sure you give this one a try i know the potatoes are not like anything new under the sun but this hummus gives you some protein some fiber it's a great add-on you can add a green with this i might add some green beans you all know i love my canned green beans so i might have this as a side i feel like this is a perfect lunch you can make it ahead if you want to like i said these are quicker if you put them in the air fryer i just did oven method because i don't have air fryer it's just my preferred way but uh, if you happen to make this, tag me over on Instagram and let me know what you thought about it. Okay, the soup is done. Potatoes are demolished. That was so good. I did not finish all the potatoes. I got kind of full because I ate like three quarters of the hummus. So this is done. It's just been simmering away. The potatoes are nice and soft. So I'm going to add about a third of that pot to my Vitamix. Blend it up so it's nice and smooth and then add it back into the pot. So let's do that real quick. Okay, what you need to do is make yourself a loaf of really crunchy bread and make this soup. It is so good. I have burnt my mouth trying this soup and I'm obsessed. Like I wanna make this every single day. I think when um, I serve it, this is actually gonna be our dinner, so I'm just gonna keep it in my Dutch oven on the back burner until like six o'clock tonight and then I'll just reheat it. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of pickle juice to mine when I eat it and some fresh chopped pickles, but this is so good. I hope out of the two recipes I shared here today, this is the first one you try. I appreciate you being here so much and cooking with me in my kitchen and being here with me and enjoying my recipes. I will see you next week in a new video. Bye. Okay, I have to try this because <laughs> it's like calling to me. Who needs bread? You just need more potatoes. Okay, this is gonna be good, right? I feel like this is gonna be so good. Mmm, mmm. 10 out of 10 recommend making some wedges and dipping them. This soup is 
so freaking good. You have to make this, you have to. You better be making it right now. <laughs>